light on him. He's already pointed the gun at me. I'm telling him, just go, just go. He's got the gun. And I move over and call 911. That's me. New tonight, a Westmobile homeowner talking about the chaotic events that unfolded last night in his neighborhood. Brand new surveillance video showing a man police say was involved in a shootout with officers walking through his backyard. That suspected killer armed with a shotgun trying to run from police and coming gun barrel to gun barrel with that homeowner. And for the first time, we're hearing from the homeowner and seeing the video of that manhunt. When it was over, a man was dead and a mobile police officer uh, shot. Fox 10 News' Lacey Bees is now joining us live tonight. Lacey, that homeowner, that's quite a story. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lanise. And part of that story is caught on surveillance camera, though he wasn't the only neighbor who encountered the alleged killer. Come on. Officer, there's a man in my yard. You can just make out a figure crossing this yard on Bryant Drive, which is only houses down from where Zachary Hanna allegedly shot and killed 31 year old Matthew Richardson. Police say after the murder, Hannah ran away and shot at officers, hitting one in both legs on Carroll Street. As this was happening one street over on Glen Acres Drive, Larry Bradley heard the gunshots as he was walking home after checking on his mother next door. Minutes later, Bradley, not wanting to go on camera, says he was face to face with Hannah in his backyard. I heard the bushes. Uh, behind me there, somebody coming, and then the guy just comes charging out in the open here. I lit him up with my bright light, and when I did, he spun around and pointed the shotgun straight at me. And it's all caught on Bradley's surveillance cameras. Here's him telling us what we see from this angle. This is me on the other camera telling him to go. I got a gun. There's me with the gun pointed at him and my light, and I'm telling him I didn't want to have to shoot him. Just go. That's me, and he's walking away on the other camera. And from another angle. Here I'm shining a light on him. He's already pointed the gun at me. He's, I'm telling him, just go, just go. He's got the gun, and I move over and call 911. When he pointed the gun at you, what was going through your mind? Uh, I thought he was going to shoot me. <laughs> yeah, um, but he luckily didn't pull the trigger. After this encounter, investigators say they captured Hannah on Crowell Street. He was shot by officers in a gunfight. Now, Hannah is charged with murder, seven counts of attempted murder, including canine officers, attempt to elude, and more. And Bradley says the terrifying run-in with Hannah may have been what saved the day. The detective said if I hadn't have done what I'd done, they might not have figured out where he was and caught him. Yeah, I'm glad they got him. Now, Bradley says during his encounter with Hannah, no shots were fired. An MPD says the injured officer was treated and released from the hospital. Hannah is still in the hospital under guard. Reporting live in Mobile, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.